clouds as he may then we I see precise our low under very well In the under we must remain patient, Lord Zell. We must wait until the enemy takes the bait before we strike. It is vital that we liaise with the forces from Baima. Keep the big picture in mind as we approach Yanjin. Hmm. I sense danger ahead. It may not be the most convenient route, but I think we should advance via the pond. You could call this a trap. I let down my guard. I was not expecting a surprise attack here. You bet. I thought you were already dead. Lord Southie, I advise you not to mention this to him. We can't afford to distract him. Are you ready to face me? The next time I see you, you're finished! Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Everybody, fall back. We must regroup. Your effort in battle is impressive. Show 
shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. <laughs> about to be severely punished. Something smells funny here. I want everyone to stay alert. Out of my way! Zhao will be dispatched by my blade! It seems someone is getting overexcited. I will soon make them see reason. <laughs> Cut down all that would stand in your way! To retreat is not necessarily to lose. An impressive display. My men and I will join you on this road to victory. Fit to share the battlefield with me. You believe your wits are a match for mine? To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Your effort of battle is impressive. My lord, we have achieved enough for now. Let us return to the castle and prepare for the next clash. Very well. All forces, retreat. Cao Cao is mine! You pathetic worms, crawl back underground where you belong! Prepare to die, Cao Cao! Attack! Our might shall lead us to victory over the untrained enemy! I love it when the flame comes to me. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. That was you, son? Well, I cannot allow you to outshine me. Nothing can stand in our way so long as we work together. Not bad, but you're wasting your time. Look at our numbers. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Well, that takes care of the Yuan's best and brightest. The enemy command chain should be in disarray. Report! It seems that the enemy reinforced. 
reinforcements have arrived. An impressive display. My men and I will join you on this road to victory. Your effort in battle is impressive. Retreat! This is not the end! Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Fight me now! For glory! Death to Tao Tao! Destined to fall here? More ambush troops. Tenacious doesn't begin to describe it. Face me if you dare. My elegance in combat is unparalleled. Allow me to test your design. Such a beautiful flower. You almost make me forget that this is a field of battle. Save your pleasantries for the parlor. I'll soon remind you of where you are. I see even Yuan Shao has some who are willing to work for him. Oh, but you're so mean. He's not that bad, really. That was you, son? Well, I cannot allow you to outshine me. Hold out much longer like this. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Now we're talking. Things are starting to get interesting. My lord, Shu Yo sends a message. He says he wishes to surrender to you. <laughs> Excellent. Lord Cao Cao, this should be most edifying. Hmm. Bring him to see me. With an army that size, it 
Shuyo will lead us to their supply depot. If the supply depot is located at Wu Chao. It is pop, but we will need to make the necessary prep. Very well. It may take a while for Shu Yo to arrive. We should clear him a path at least. My lord, we need to destroy the enemy siege towers. Perhaps the catapult would work. Must make for Wu Chao and escort him to safety. It's all over if you lose a battle. That's why I'll do anything it takes to win. Up ahead, the road forks. If you go straight ahead, ambush troops will be lying in wait. But if you go left, there is a cliff. Climb that, and you should be able to sneak up behind them. Now the question is, can we trust Xu Yao? I leave the decision to you, Lord Saopi. <laughs> the enemy is right below us. We could jump down and surprise them. Fit to share the battlefield with me. Shu Yo, you have betrayed us. You know the punishment for treachery. Shu Yo's under attack. Mind you, when she's doing the attacking, it doesn't seem so bad. Not just a pretty face either. I will spare your life. You must come with me. How very forward. But why don't you save your generous offer until after you've won? Hmm? Allow me to test your resolve. <laughs> Me. 
But if you intend to defy my honor, then I will take my own life here. Oh. I intend to take you as my wife. If that thought dismays you, then by all means take your life. Your life? I accept. I will stand by your side. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Your effort of battle is impressive. I must retreat. This is not the end. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Share the battlefield with me. They have outdoored us. All that is left to do is to fight like a man, then die. Yuan Shao doesn't bow you. Why would you throw away your life for him? You mean. You would appreciate me more? Shao's life goes up in flames. Oh, do you want to be turned to ash too? No. Or will you be a beacon that lights up this land? I shall burn with righteous fervor for you! Lord Zhao Zhao is on the move. Come, Lord Zhao Pi. We must hurry to join him. Everybody! I ask that you charge the enemy main camp, so that we may bring an end to this battle. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. You're safe. Come, we have so much to catch up on. Brother, I am sorry, but I cannot join you yet. 
Not until I have repaid my debt to Lord Sao Tsao. We cannot hold out any longer. The wisest course of action would be to regroup and fight another day. You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. Your effort in battle is impressive. You will learn to regret this moment. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. to share the battlefield with me. Ha! South South worthless offspring. You are no match for me. I foresaw greatness in you. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Show some respect to your betters. Oh, do you forget the nobility of my station? 
your insolence will not be forgotten! The Yuan have been set on the road to ruin. Yuan Shao has passed away. The Central Plains are now under our control. Many years have passed since Guan Du. It took longer than I had hoped. But Father, the war is not over yet. Of course not. Our dominion must be recognized by all. Another relic of the past has died. The new age of my father is at hand. But, one day his time too will pass. Father, the future that you seek, your dreams, are they the same as my own? Due to the efforts of Cao Pi, heir to the Cao throne, and many others, Yuan Shao was eliminated. With Hebei and the Central Plains under his control, Cao Cao had amassed the largest force in the land. Next, he turned his steely gaze toward the south. There, the major figures included Liu Biao in Jing, Liu Zhang in Yi, and Sun Quan in Jiangdong. Cao Cao decided to attack Jing as his first target. Liu Biao was killed during the initial attack, and his successor Liu Zong agreed to surrender to Cao Cao. However, Cao Cao did not let down his guard and continued to advance his army to Jing. The people of Jing trembled in fear before him. Without a doubt, Liu Bei would feel pity for the people and throw himself into the fray. Learning of Liu Bei's whereabouts, Guan Yu left Cao Cao and went to rejoin his sworn brother. Together with the peasants, Guan Yu fled from Cao Cao's advance and made his way toward Jiangling. This time, Cao Cao was determined to put an end to the meddling Liu Bei and finally realize his ambition. To that end, he would go to any lengths necessary. Cao Cao ordered Zhang Liao to give pursuit. For it was now that the hero of chaos was about to transform into something decidedly less heroic. Liu Bei must be killed. Cut down any who impede you! My lord, Liu Bei's army features many who are not soldiers, but mere peasants. They have chosen to side with him of their own free will. Therefore, they are our enemy. Soldier or peasant, it matters not. Do not forget, you are my blade. I choose who you cut, and whose blood will stain. Lord Zhang Liao, we have sighted the enemy rearguard. Yes, it is time for me to take to the battlefield. with the people of Jing province. We must fly after him.
shall pursue my lord no longer. Time to finish this. I shall see. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. display of skill. We must keep up our own end of the fight. No mercy, even to mere yeah. peasants. I fear this battle will be a bloody We are our Lord's messengers. We are to let the world know that all who oppose him will meet with death. My lord, I will be your opponent. Time to finish this.
Every the victory serves to make me that much stronger. Ah, oh, your efforts are dazzling. You shall see me shine as well. Yes, even brighter than now. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Lord me you beg, you must flee! I will hold them back! Necessarily to lose. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. Victory serves to make me that much stronger. Fall back! Fall back! 
carefully to what I say, and you may get out of this alive. The trap is a little simplistic for my case, but it should suffice to buy us some time. Strategies. Time to finish this! serves to make me that much stronger. Ah, oh, your efforts are dazzling. You shall see me shine as well. Yes, even brighter than now. Time to withdraw. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. The fire has been dampened. Through the gate and onward! So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Huh? It's him! It's really him! Your 
moments are dazzling. You shall see me shine as well. Yes! Even brighter than now! Turn. Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall seek! Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. <laughs> Time to finish this! <laughs> Regret this moment. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. are kind of strong. Thanks for coming to help me. You seem to be a worthy... Yourself, Guan Yu. Chong Liao, you are a remarkable warrior. I am my lord's blade. I cut him a path. Your blade is indecisive. I could never lose to you. Silence! Guan Yu! Are you all right? Look who's come wandering back. You're mine, brother! You don't know when to quit! My lord! How? Any normal opponent would have been dead by now. No matter how many times we are defeated, we will continue fighting to keep our brother safe. His benevolence gives us the strength to go on. More forces are approaching. Come, men. You'll see. The day will come when our brother's virtue will overcome Cao Cao. Forgive me, my lord. The conflict will continue.
a new world lay just before them. Zhang Liao's fierce pursuit forced Liu Bei's forces to scatter. Liu Bei himself managed to escape to Jiangsha. Cao Cao secured his hold on Jing and immediately moved to apply pressure on Sun Quan in Jiangdong. With his giant navy, he filled the banks of the Changjiang. If he could defeat Sun Quan and Liu Zhang of Yi province, his conquest would be complete. Xu Zhu and Cao Cao's other generals could almost picture the day when their long journey would come to an end. Little did they know that lying in wait for them was a secret plot by the strategists Zhuge Liang and Zhou Yu. Cao Cao would need to summon all of his might to bring his plans to fruition. For his destiny would soon be decided here, along the banks of Cherbi. Tian Wei, Lord Cao Cao is amazing. And when he does, we'll have all the rice fields we can tend. But I have a bad feeling about things.